Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I filmed a video, but I figured let's start it out with a bang, right? I am going to be doing an open box, first impressions and pen test on a planner that was sent to me. As always, full disclosure, this company reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to take a peek at one of their planners. And I said, sure, I'll take a peek at it. I've looked at it a little bit, but I wanted to just go over it with you guys and just show you kind of some different things that are on the market. This company is Clever Fox, and this is the Clever Fox Planner. This is an A5 size, and it's 5.8 inches by 8.3 inches. It retails on Amazon for $24.99. It is available in Prime. And then there's a black, orange, and pink version, and I got the black. No surprise there, right? So anyway, you get it packaged very nicely. I took it out of the package already. And then it comes in this nice little white box that has the little Fox logo on there. It's got some little, you know, information about Clever Fox. And then it's got you know, information about how to set up your planner if you want a guide. I know some people like guides, some people like to do what they want to. And then there are these as well, and it says give this card to someone you love, and it's coupon codes, and it's all the same. So if you want 10% off of your order on Amazon, you can screenshot right there and, you know, apply that to your order. So I'll leave links down below as well. And then when you open it up, you have three sticker sheets. They're all the same. And so we've got like a little graph, some people, more people, presents, kind of a workout thing, a meal, finances, love, reading, and then kind of like a little yoga thing. So anyway, I got three sticker sheets. And then here is the planner. So let's actually take it right out of here. Doo -doo, move the box. All right, so here is the planner. And first impressions, I was actually with my mom when I got this because I stopped at my public mailbox with her and um, I was kind of taking it out of the package and she felt it and she's like, oh, that feels so nice. Um, if you guys are familiar with the Erin Condren bound notebooks that's what this feels like i'm not sure i'm actually on the um, amazon right now on the amazon yeah <laughs> right now and i'm looking to see if there's any more information as to what this actually is okay i just kind of skimmed the description and i couldn't figure out what this actually was but it does feel kind of like a, a leather-like material but it's very smooth it also has the embossed fox on it i don't know if you guys can see that it's right here yeah i think you can see it it's hard to tell on the monitor if it's going to show up in the video and then it has one of these little strappy guys and then it comes with this um you know little thing around it and then you know this comes off there's a little pen loop right here which i think is really nice and then on the back it just has some you know information so let's pull this off like dismantling it because you know you got to do that so yeah i like how sleek this looks you know it's like something you could have like sit on your desk at the office and it wouldn't be like that crazy like i said they do come in other colors so if you're a really colorful person you can do that too and then um opening it up really nice front paper Ooh, this paper feels nice too it's very smooth paper um, and that just has like an information page and then goes into the planner. So the first page is my gratitude and self-awareness and that says I'm grateful for what I'm passionate about and then my daily rituals, skills to learn, affirmations. And then it has like a vision board on both sides. And then my goals, so there's all these different things. So you got health, business and career, family, friends, significant other and romance, finance, personal development, fun and recreation, and spiritual. And then over here, it has my focus and it has all these goals, one through five, and then my mind map with some graph paper. So you can draw or you can just put some text in there, or whatever. And then this comes undated. So then you can just write in the month and year so you can start it at any time, which I think is kind of cool. And um, then you can write in, you know, what day it is. And then you can do use your plan, your month's goals, the month's wins, and then what you need to improve on because we can all improve, right? So yeah, so then let's see here. How many months do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so there are, are 12 months, so you can really start at any time, or you can start at the beginning of the year, whatever you want. And then after that, we have, it looks like weekly pages. So you've got your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday are these smaller columns over here. And then over here is kind of like a goals and lists page, it looks like. So it says this week's main goal, priorities, notes, to-do list, habits and skills, and then it has a little tracker for all the days of the week, and then the wins and what to improve on next week. And then yeah, you've got this basically for the bulk of the planner. So that's kind of nice, so like, depending on what day you're at, you can just go like this and you know, know where you're at in your planner, right? So let's pull this off again. And then I wanted to show you guys this because I thought these were interesting. So these are little ribbons that are attached and um, obviously you can, you know, put one in one section and then, you know, put one in another section and so on and so forth. So I think that's kind of a nice thing if you want to mark certain pages or you know, whatever, how, however you want to do things. So yeah, I think it's really customizable to be honest. And then, let's see, okay. And then we get into a ton of graph paper it looks like. Oh wow, the rest of it is all graph paper. Well, cool, all right, well that sounds good. And then, what is this? Oh, this is neat. All right, so this is like a little um, pocket folder. Oh, is this where you put the stickers? Here, let's see, did the stickers fit in here? They're tight, but they fit. There we go. <laughs> I just needed to wiggle them in a little bit. So yeah, your stickers can fit back there. Obviously you can put other stickers in there too. But I don't know, I think it's kind of neat and interesting. Um, but yeah, it's like very, very nice. I like the spine a lot. And um, yeah, it, it feels just like that Erin Condren like leather-like material. I don't think it's leather just because of the price point, to be honest, but um, you know, I, I like the feel of it. Also, the paper is really nice. I mean, I'm gonna re reference Erin Condren a lot because I have an Erin Condren planner, but um, it's not as nice as the, oh, what's that, those inserts? Those crafting inserts, what are those called? I'm like totally brain farting now. A lot of people use them in ring bomb planners. I can't think. If I remember when I'm editing, I'll put it down below. But um, it's a very smooth paper and it's very thick paper, but it's, the Erin Condren one is a little bit more grippy, if that makes sense, um, and this is a little bit more slippy. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a good way to describe anything, but that's the way I know how to describe things, so we're just, we're just gonna go with it, you guys. <laughs> so anyway, on the back page here, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little pen testing for you guys and I'm gonna do it over here so we can zoom in a little bit more. I do apologize about the shadowing today, you guys. It's very, very dreary outside today, even though it's not raining at all. But I wanted to do it with blue ink because um, I've been using blue ink lately and I don't really know why, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, and I figured I would use a bunch of different types of markers and pens and then we would look at the other page and see if there was any shadowing or anything like that popping through because I know in the planner world that is a big deal and we like to know which pens to use if we like this planner. So let's get into the pen test. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit and then um, I'm gonna use some regular pens or not regular pens, I mean any regular pen would work but I'm gonna use some more gel pens and then also um, markers and things like that. So the first one up here is gonna be the Papermate Ink Joy Gel Pen in the .7. This is the blue one. I do have a navy one as well and I'll be testing both of them. Also, this is the Jelly Roll, the 08 in the blue. Next up is the Papermate Ink Joy Gel Pen in the .7 in the navy. And then we've got the Jelly Roll 08 in the navy as well. And then next up is the Papermate Flare in the blue. And then we've got the Erin Condren marker. I'll do the fine point and then I'll do the medium as well. 
And then I have the Le Pen. I don't know what point this is, but I think they only come in the one um, style, I think. I'm really not sure. This is like really satisfying to write with, however. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> and then we have got the Micron 03 in the archival ink in the blue. And then last but not least, this is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent um, uh, Marker, but it feels more like a pen, but it is a permanent marker. All right, so now all of my blue things are done. Let's do a little test here. Okay, so now you guys can see everything. So anyway, um, probably the most satisfying to write with is the lip pen, but I do really like the way that the jelly rolls felt on this paper, just FYI. I don't know if that makes any difference to you guys, but let's look at the back side and really, the only one I see even the finest bit of shadowing on is the last one that I wrote with, and I know it might be hard to see on there, but it's this one, and this is the only permanent marker, well, not permanent marker, but this is the one that has like the thickest stroke, if you will, um, but that's the only one I can see that has even the finest bit of shadowing at all, and it's right here. To be honest, I can't see anything else, especially if I put the page down. Sorry, I'm like really zoomed in right now. If you put the page down, the only one you can see is that if you had the page up like this, just because there's a light coming underneath here, you can see it a little bit more, but this is the only one I see. But you know what, to be honest, that wouldn't really bother me if you like to write with these as well. And I have found, I don't have a blue, uh, Sharpie fine point, but I have found that the Sharpie ultra fine points do about the same performance wise as the pilot on most papers, but don't quote me on that. But if you're into using markers like this, if that shadowing didn't bother you, I think you definitely could use this planner. And this has the same paper all through the same, all through the exact same planner, except for the first page. When you um, first open it, this front page is, oh, hold on, let me, Zoom me all out again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, except for this front page is a like really, really thick. It's like a cardstock kind of paper um, where these are, um, you know, more that silky, thicker paper. But yeah, that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. This is kind of a short and sweet little video, even though now my viewfinder is telling me I've blabbed on for 17 minutes, which, you know, is pretty accurate. But, um, but yeah, I really think this is a cool planner, especially like on the go or in the office or just like having something for like goal setting and, you know, to keep your life a little bit more compartmentalized if you don't like a lot of freedom. Um, this is definitely something that could possibly work for you. But let me know in the comments if you guys have tried out a Clever Fox planner or what your thoughts are on the layouts and everything. I love learning about new planners and just showing you guys new things on the market. But I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this planner since the company was gracious enough to reach out to me and give me a planner to show to you guys. Also, if you are interested in this planner, the Amazon links will be down below for you guys. So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Also, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to give the video a thumbs up as well as subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.